really pleased to see such a great turnout on short notice today. My name is Gary Plummer. I'm the President and CEO of the Wichita Metro Chamber of Commerce. And on behalf of our Chairman, Barry Schwann, and our 1,800 members, we're really proud to host this new this morning. Uh, we're pleased to do that in, in our partnership with the Greater Wichita Partnership as well. Special welcome to Governor Sam Brownback and Mayor Jeff Longwell, who will be commenting uh, momentarily. There are a number of other distinguished leaders here today, and we appreciate them being with us, local and state officials. Also on our agenda today is Charlie Chandler, who is the CEO and Chairman of Entrust Bank and Co-Chairman of the Greater Wichita Partnership. We'll have time for questions after uh, this uh, brief program. So uh, those opportunities will be made aware, uh, available to the media, as well as some one-on-one -on -one interviews uh, with some of our distinguished guests today. So now it's my pleasure to introduce Brian Sykes, who is Corporate Vice President of Cargill Protein Group. Brian? Good afternoon, and thank you all for attending. And as you know, we've been in a pretty exhaustive uh, search for the last few months uh, of, of where we want to uh, hold our headquarters forward in the future. And so that's not taken lightly, some of that news, but uh, it's that we're proud to say and very happy to tell you that we're going to stay here in Wichita, Kansas. Let me tell you a little bit about the process, how we got to that conclusion. I think it's important for for you all to, to know and understand that. About six months ago, we started a process, uh, a deep dive into our protein business to understand how we make sure that we compete and win in what's a very dynamic and growing uh, industry. We've got global competitors that are growing, they're aggressive. We've got customers that are changing and evolving, and we've got consumers that are more demanding than they've ever been around transparency, around food security, and around nutrition. And they've got every right to do that and ask that of us. And there's no company better positioned than Cargill uh, to provide that for them. So as, as we've looked at our business and we looked at the future and what we needed, there was some skills and capabilities that we determined that we needed to bolster. Um, and we started to step back and say, what would it take to make sure that we're the employer of choice, that we can attract the right talent so that we can win as we go forward in the future? So that led us to, to where we're at today, uh, the building uh, down the street at 151 North Main we've been in for over 30 years and as we began to evaluate we determined that it had kind of served and maybe passed its useful purpose and that, that maybe we needed a new building, a new campus, a new uh, environment for our employees that would be, uh, that would create an atmosphere of innovation, an atmosphere of engagement. And so as we begin to think about that, that's a big investment. That's a 20-year decision. And so as stewards of, of Cargill's protein business, the leadership team, we got together. And we have to think about the good of the 30,000 people that work in our protein business and even the 150,000 that work for Cargill and not just the 800 here in Wichita. So we stepped back, said it was the right time to look, and we did. And we uh, hired an outside firm to help us go through that process. It was a, it was a very detailed and thoughtful process. Uh, there's been reports out some of which were correct and much of which were not correct. Uh, but the part I will share with you is that we did look uh, extensively at Texas and we did look at Colorado, uh, at markets in those places, and we, and we took deep dives into those markets. And at the end of the day, we decided Wichita was the right place for us. And the reason we did is ultimately around the people. It's the people we have here uh, on our team today, and it's the people we believe we can recruit here in the future. There is a work ethic, there is a sense of community, there's a sense of values that people uh, in Wichita, people in Kansas, and people in this region bring that we believe can be a competitive advantage. And it's a culture that aligns very well with Cargill's culture. And we believe that those two aligned uh, in a great new building and environment or a winning uh, model for us as we compete against some of these global uh, players that we compete against every day. So we didn't choose Wichita because we thought we could survive. We chose Wichita because we believe we will thrive uh, here. And so, uh, again, you should feel, as a community, you should feel good about that. I have firsthand knowledge. I've lived here three times. My wife's lived here four times. We still have family here. And four kids go through school here, two born here. Uh, so we know firsthand what a great community this is. We know how much you rally around the community. Cargill has deep ties in Wichita and in Kansas. 
We have over 4,000 employees in Kansas today. Uh, Governor Brownback was with us. We just commissioned a new distribution center in Dodge City that was $50 million investment. We have another $50 million investment going on in the city now in our oil crush business. We've contributed over $5 million in the city uh, through charities in the last five years. That doesn't count the tens of thousands of hours our employees have invested. We've spent or contributed well over a million dollars to K-State on a diversity and ag recruiting process in the last few years. So. Uh, the combination of Cargill and, and Wichita and Kansas, we think is a winning and powerful combination. And so I want to personally thank Governor Brownback um, from day one. He reached out and said that he values the relationship and he had every intent to, to keep that relationship and to do what he needed to do. And so uh, that was influential, Governor. And I personally appreciate it. Our business appreciate, appreciates it. And as you look across the multi factors we were trying to decide on where the right location is alignment uh, with your government and city officials is critical and so mayor longwell and his team and staff have done the same the city jumped on board i think collectively uh, we again we have a model that we are super excited about that uh, will create growth uh, not just for us but for for the city as well we have as I said, there's 900 Cargill folks in Wichita, there's 800 of them that work in our business, and that's 800 families that go to school and church and pay taxes, and we have every intent of that number over time growing as, as we continue to grow and evolve. So with that said, I'd like to introduce Governor Brown back and, and again thank him for his support. It is a beautiful day in Kansas. We're getting rain and keeping Cargill. Uh, both of those are uh, fantastic. Uh, Brian, that's just uh, fantastic news. Uh, he said there was uh, crying and cheering when the announcement came to the employees, and he said, no, that was me. Uh, I'm just really ecstatic about Cargill staying here. They, they are in the right space in supplying food around the world. Uh, and this is Cargill protein that we're talking about. Uh, and the provision of protein is, I, w I consider it a bit an upscale in the food industry. Uh, some wouldn't quite agree with that. But they are providing meat and, and food products all over the world, and they're going to center it here. And this is going to be their global headquarters for doing that. And they have the talent here, and they can attract the talent here, and the ability here to provide those protein needs of people all over the world. And that's a fantastic place for us to be in. Uh, that's what we do. We are good at providing this. We are globally competitive at supplying protein to a hungry world. Uh, so their concentration and their focus of the headquarters being here is fantastic for us. We worked hard to make sure that that would stay uh, here, that they would stay here. My team, three of our cabinet secretaries are over here of commerce and transportation and agriculture. Uh, flew up to Minneapolis to work with people. We worked well with the city officials who were all over this to make sure that this would uh, would stay here. I think you will see not only Cargill invest in a new building, but also in what do we need to do to grow our community and grow our state. Uh, because it's in their best interest as it is in our best interest to continue that growth, to continue to attract millennial generation, to make sure that they, they come here, that they stay here, that they like the quality of life that we have here. This is a fantastic place. It is a fantastic place. Uh, Brian still has his checking account here with Charlie's Bank after he's moved to a dozen different places around the world. There's no better bank. I shouldn't say that. I don't know, maybe competitors around here. I'm, I'm getting carried away here with that. Um, I just, I'm ecstatic about this taking place uh, here, and I think it really feeds into our long-term vision of growth that we have as a state. One of the key pieces of that being growing in the protein space. Uh, that we are, that we are growing in that, particularly in the central and western part of the state, that the headquarters of one of the major global companies that's doing that will be here in Wichita. And I think we've got a lot of upside uh, to bring with that as we grow moving forward. Uh, Brian, thank you for this great day. God bless you and Cargill and the people of Wichita and look forward to growing together with them. One of the great partners uh, in doing this, and it was that, uh, Jeff and I spent a lot of different times uh, talking on the phone about this project and what we needed to do to complete it, was the city of Wichita, the county, Sedgwick County, and others helping out with this. But this was something that they had their complete focus on. Uh, and I want to bring up, uh, for your recognition and his comments, Mayor of the City of Wichita, Jeff Longwell.
Well, thank you, Governor, very much. Um, I have some notes, so hopefully I don't ramble around too much, but I do want to share what's probably not in these notes or a couple of other thank yous. As you heard from uh, the folks here at the table, it was really a team effort. And I will tell you, Brian, your team did an incredible job, too, at communicating with us so we knew we knew what they wanted and we knew that we could deliver. Um, you see some of these team members here on the wall that have been living this for quite some time and I can tell you out in the public this was the best kept secret up until maybe just the last few hours. Um, we did not know and it was truly uh, a situation where they were fully analyzing. We did not know which direction truly they were going in which makes this day even better because I will tell you after much discussion with the Cargill and the city and the state and all of our partners come together, the decision that Cargill said that they will remain in Wichita does a couple of things. I'll add to that here in just a minute, but it does a couple of things. They methodically analyzed information from a number of cities across this region and they chose Wichita just like we heard just a few months back from another great corporate citizen that Wichita is a great place to grow a business, Cargill just validated that Wichita is not only a great place to raise a family, but a great place to grow a business. We all know that just last week Wichita was named one of the top five cities in America to start a new business. And now we know it's even a better place to grow a business. So thank you, Brian, for your team. Um, and, and it just validates everything that we're going to do. But this, this isn't the end. This truly is the beginning of our partnership with our friends, with Cargill, with this uh, Greater Wichita Partnership. And you're going to hear from um, the leader of that Greater Wichita Partnership next. But I can tell you this is exactly what we expected and the direction that we wanted to take this Greater Wichita Partnership. It's about focusing our interest, our community, all of the qualities that we excel at so that we can get wins in this community and this is going to help us exponentially. So uh, we're happy that Cargill has chosen Wichita. It truly allows us to be the opportunity capital of the world and thrilled that not only your employees are going to stay, we hope to see that expand. So thank you for choosing Wichita. And it is certainly my sincere pleasure to invite up uh, the chairman of the uh, Greater Wichita Partnership, Charlie Chandler, and, and we can listen to his remarks. Charlie, thank you. Well, what a great day for Wichita, for the region, for the state of Kansas. I like days like this, I really do. <laughs> Rain and then sunshine, too. So what more can we ask for? Thank you, Governor for being here with us today. And Mr. Mayor, and both of you for your personal leadership in this effort, because I know you both put a lot of time into it. Brian, I don't know quite what to say that hasn't been said to say thank you to you and your team at Cargill for giving us this opportunity, showing the belief that you have in our community and, and selecting Wichita as a choice for protein for the future. And we're really, really excited about that. You know, it's probably a natural for me as a banker to be involved in economic development efforts. And you think, well, yeah, I mean, it makes sense for him to do that. I mean, banks get their business from growing communities. Well, that's true. But it's also, and many of us, as I look around the room here, it's just because we love Wichita. We see what a tremendous place it is to do business and what a tremendous place it is to live and raise our families. And when you get to be as old as I am with grandkids, you gain even more focus in that direction. But I would tell you that one of the things that really makes it special for me is the people. And I've had great pleasure over these last many years working with people from Cargill. And I've recognized that when they're involved, things happen. It's a dynamic organization. They never sit still. They're constantly looking for growth opportunities and ways to enhance their businesses. And as a result, they have incredibly capable folks. And any of us who've worked with a Cargill representative in any volunteer or professional capacity knows that we get the best. They're a top-notch corporate citizen. 
contributing not only time and talent, but lots of money to efforts that they see as being valid and important to the communities that they serve. And as a result, we've been the great beneficiaries. You look down, for example, some here, the new YMCA, the food bank, open door. I mean, the list is very, very long of the involvements that these folks have had. So as, as we look forward, uh, I'd have to say to you that it is exciting for us because we believe that the way we get days like today is when we all work together. And we recognize that collaboration and bringing our interests into an alignment so that we can continue to provide the quality environment that people are looking for as they work and play is what we need to do. Here we've, we've seen the state, the city, and the Greater Wichita Partnership work together with a great company to come to a conclusion that we all like. I think that uh, as we look forward, we're going to have to continue to develop these collaborative efforts, and uh, I'm excited to be a part of that. Um, thank you again to the governor for all the resources you brought to the effort, including the Secretary Suave, Secretary King, Secretary McClaskey for the participation that you've had in it, plus all the good folks at the Commerce Department. Mayor Longwell, thanks to you. The, City Council and your team at the city, including the manager, I mean, Assistant Manager Scott Rigby has been awesome in this project as well, and certainly all of your staff. And to our own David Bossemeyer at the partnership, who's worked closely with the partners, tirelessly, I might add, um, representing our staff, led by Jeff Fleur, who, by the way, wouldn't you know it, we have a great day like this. Now, Jeff is the guy you hear cheering from Disney World with his children <laughs> as he's on vacation. But again, thank you for all your hard work, and what a great day. I look forward to many more of these. Thank you very much. Besides the people, what did it take to keep Cargill here in Wichita? <clears throat> We start with the people. It, it takes that to begin with and a belief that we can get the people to win because we think that's the foundation for, for any winning strategy is, is talent and the right folks. So, so it starts with that and then it's can we create an environment where, where we can make that happen. Um, so I think it's those two, but the commitment that the, that the state and the city showed, uh, it, it's important to us to, to be in a community where we feel like we can have impact and influence and I think Kansas affords us that opportunity where other markets uh, maybe would have been less so. When do you uh, hope to have a specific site uh, selected and has that been narrowed down to an area of town or anything? It, it has not, it, it has not unless you know something I don't know. Um, we will have a team, uh, we'll have a team, maybe. We'll have a team, uh, a lot of people here do. Uh, we'll have a team start on that effective tomorrow. Uh, we want to work on a short time frame. We think we hope we can do this in three or four months. I'm looking back at Tom Windish, who's leading that for us. So um, I've got a few folks, too, that I'd like to call out that if you want to talk to one-on-one, -on -one, you can. Tom would be one. John Keating's another. John Neiman. Uh, Chris Roberts is here somewhere. So um, those are four of ours. Uh, Greg Bollinger, raise your hand. There's, there's Those five are all cargo leaders that if you have questions, you can answer. But the answer is not yet. We'll start tomorrow. We'll have a cross-functional team that will we'll select site, then we'll select what are the, what are the attributes we're, we're looking for. You mentioned the state and cities help. Were there incentives to talk about? Uh, I'll let the state and the city talk specific if they want, but there were general uh, incentives that you would, you would expect, but most of those are around, would work through a developer and that the city would benefit from. I, I'm happy to give you one example of that. Uh, if we were to build a parking garage, we would share in that cost, Cargill and, and the city. And, but the, the city would own that, that parking garage and it'd be a public parking garage. So that'd be the type of thing that the incentives were built around. That would lend itself, to me it sounds like, more of the downtown area. <laughs> you can make that assumption. <laughs> ah. Okay. Could you talk about why Wichita, uh, how, how Wichita will help you in your strategy um, yourself to be more competitive I think ultimately it, it, you hear Cargill talk a lot about culture 
uh, we talk a lot about culture. And I think the alignment of values is what we think the competitive advantage will be. The, the, the work ethic that people from this community and this region bring, we think aligns with the values that we espouse. And I think that combination uh, positions us well to win. If we're in Dallas, you know, and we would be one of a lot, I'll say hundreds of companies. Uh, here where we can influence in a positive way our community. And so I think we believe Coke Industries here obviously has done a phenomenal job. There are other examples of that. And so our intent would be to continue to uh, partner not only with the city and the state, but with Wichita State University. You'll see us ramp up our internship program. Uh, we'll get very serious about that. We'll, we'll work with uh, the other large players in the, in, in the marketplace as well to make sure that we're collectively working uh, to attract, recruit, and retain the best talent for Wichita. Were you offered incentives by other entities and other governments? I think that's safe to say, but I won't talk about any specifics. It, it's a competitive marketplace, and it's much more competitive trying to attract versus retain. So I think that's probably common sense. I'll let you draw your own conclusions on that. So it wasn't a lack of incentive to have us go other places. There are markets that are very interested in having our business there. Again, we made the decision because we, we made the decision on where we thought we could best win going forward. And that was Wichita. And how important were the incentives, the incentive package that you received from Kansas and Wichita in making your decision? Uh, there were one of 20 factors. What's your uh, employment hiring outlook as a uh, result of uh, this strategy? Uh, we, we will grow. What we'll have to figure out is, so we, when we buy businesses, many times those employees are, are outside of Wichita. Today we'd have, this group would be responsible for probably 30,000 employees across North America. Um, so, but, but we are on a growth path. We just announced a, an acquisition in May, John? May? We did. Uh, that was in South Carolina. We hope to announce another one next week. We're close and we would like to get that done, but those are jobs that you know have facilities outside of Wichita, but typically you'll need to have the support uh, that would come out of here. So our anticipation would be that we would grow. I mean, we, all of our strategy work is built around growth. Uh, the companies we're competing against aren't standing still. I don't have to tell you their names. You can read them in the paper every day, and some of them are, bank, are backed by you know, governments. And so we have to be aggressive, and we'll continue to be aggressive from a growth standpoint. As part of your agreement with uh, for incentives, have you promised any kind of a job number for you to maintain or to grow? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to comment on the specifics of the incentives. Uh, the city and state can do that if they like. Um, question, are you bringing any other operations or divisions when you move to your new facility, or are you going to keep the exact same? Uh, it will be the ones that are represented here today. What we have today is multiple sites in the city, so we will bring those together. We're not necessarily moving other locations into Wichita today. That, that happens as we acquire businesses sometimes, but there, there aren't any specific plans to move in new, new businesses into this. You mentioned a couple of employment numbers. You threw out 800 and 900. So eight, 800, businesses. yeah, it's both. It's both, believe it or not. I'm not, <laughs> I, I don't do much well, but I, Math is okay for me. Um, we have 800 that work in our protein group. We have 900 that represent Cargill. So we have a corn milling or a, a soybean milling plant here. And so Cargill's got people doing different things, but 800 under our direct responsibility for, for this business. So Cargill has about 900. We have about 800 professionals here. And you're keeping all those jobs. At, at, from what we know today, yes, there's no intention of. Any more in the near business is fluid. Does this affect the, uh, the innovation center at all? The, uh, the yeah, not directly. We've got a beautiful innovation center um, just behind us, and uh, we've invested $15 million in, in that business and building not long ago. It's a great building that we bring customers to, and it does not. It, we, we will be thoughtful as we build a new location. Uh, proximity will be important and, and space so that if we ever want to move that building uh, and that group of folks to the new location will want to make sure that's, that we're not blocked from doing that in the future, but it's not a short-term impact to that business or that group of folks or that building. Is the WSU campus a possible relocation site, the, the innovation campus that they're doing out there? Uh, sure, could be. 